In June 2022, Bayern Munich announced the signing of Sadio Mane. Such was the excitement that Bayern president Herbert Heiner used the deal to emphasize the club's gravitational pull and the appeal of the Bundesliga more generally. But just a year later, Mane, intended to be a transformational superstar, would be gone, having made little impact on either the club or the league. So, what happened to Sadio Mane? Context is important. Mane was 30 years old when he joined Bayern and had played over 60 games for Liverpool and Senegal combined during the previous season. It was also the fifth straight season during which he'd taken part in over 50 matches, and for many of those, he played within the physical intensity demanded by Jurgen Klopp. His new team had also recently sold Robert Lewandowski, who was both a record-setting goalscorer and the player around whom Bayern's attack had operated for the last decade. Mane was starting afresh, but Bayern were too. Now, even so, Mane's first competitive appearance promised much. In the German Super Cup in August 2022, Bayern beat RB Leipzig 5-3, playing with impressive attacking fluency and with Mane scoring his first goal. And instead of being a like-for-like -like replacement for Lewandowski, Mane was signed to be a more versatile forward, used to score goals but also to extract more from the other attacking players. Bayern then thrashed Eintracht Frankfurt and Bochum and easily defeated Wolfsburg, with Mane playing either as a number 9 or part of a front 2. But the form wouldn't last. As summer turned to autumn, Bayern began to lose their momentum. They drew with Gladbach and then lost to Augsburg, and in both, Mane showed signs that he was struggling to adapt to Julian Nagelsmann's 4-2-3-1 and its differences from Klopp's 4-3-3. While many of his best performances for Liverpool had also pivoted around the rare abilities of false nine Roberto Firmino, Bayern lacked an equivalent player. At times, they even expected him to be the Firmino-like foil. And Mane's changing role is reflected in this dataset, which compares his last season in England with his first in Germany. It shows the tweaks in his game. There was a greater burden on him to be a creator and to be more progressive with the ball at his feet. Following the defeat to Augsburg, Nagelsmann added a further change, pushing Mane wide to the left and selecting Eric Maxim Chopomoting as his number nine instead. Mane would score just four more times in the Bundesliga between October and May, recording his lowest league goal tally since his 2011-12 season at Metz, when he was just a teenager. Now, a partial explanation for this was a November injury to his fibula, which cost him the chance to play at the World Cup and saw him miss nine Bundesliga games. Those absences also made his raw statistics misleading. In his final season in the Premier League in 21-22, he'd averaged 0.51 goals per 90. During that Bundesliga season, adjusted to reflect the time actually spent on the pitch, that fell just slightly to 0.44 per 90. Nevertheless, the perception of underperformance was difficult to overcome. The lack of pure volume contrasted unfavourably with Lewandowski, creating an unhelpful comparison. And there were other issues too. He appeared to struggle with squad dynamics at Bayern. For much of his Liverpool career, he'd been a guaranteed starter. In Germany, that wasn't the case. Essentially, Bayern had signed a player for whom they didn't have a role. In addition, they also had many players who could play the same position as him, either as a forward or as a wide midfielder, and that uncertainty bred difficulties. Writing for The Athletic in April 2023, Rafa Honigstein wrote, Close observers noticed that Mane was sometimes trying too hard to do something special that justified his selection rather than making the obvious and less eye-catching move. Then club CEO Oliver Kahn also commented, saying that Mane is not used to the type of competition for places that we have here. It wasn't like that at Liverpool. But the real cracks appeared in the spring of 2023. Mane was only used as a late substitute in the last 16 tie with PSG, and while reports of an outright rift with Nagelsmann were exaggerated, there were suggestions that Mane found aspects of his more technical coaching unfavourable. Nagelsmann was dismissed in March of 2023 and replaced by Thomas Tuchel, but that had little effect on Mane. In fact, his season would quickly fall to its lowest ebb. Following Bayern's 3-0 defeat to Manchester City in the first leg of the Champions League quarter-final, Mane punched teammate Leroy Sana following a disagreement that had begun on the pitch. Bayern would suspend him in the aftermath and fine him €250,000. He would be reintegrated, but under Tuchel his position continued to shift. He played on the left of a 4-1-4-1 and up front alongside Thomas Müller in a 3-1-4-2 and as a lone forward again in a 4-2-3-1. 
but he completed 90 minutes in the Bundesliga just once before the end of the season, struggling for any sustained momentum. That Bayern unexpectedly won the Bundesliga title made little difference to an increasingly negative media cycle. Furthermore, on the day that their title was confirmed, sporting director Hassan Selihamidzic and CEO Oliver Kahn, both of whom had responsibility for signing Mane, were dismissed. Bayern were remodelling in a way that didn't necessarily include him, and as pre-season for the 23-24 season began, Tuchel gave a clear indication that that was the case. Sadio fell short of the expectations last season, he said. We have a lineup that's very difficult for him. Days later, Mane would even snap at a local reporter, taking issue with the tone of his previous coverage. You're killing me every day, and now you want me to talk to you guys, he said, declining an interview request. It characterised the tension. It also suggested that his time at Bayern had reached breaking point. It was of little surprise then, when it was announced that a lucrative deal with Saudi Arabian side Al Nasser had been agreed, and that after just 13 months, Bayern and Mane were bound for divorce. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including journalists dedicated to each Premier League team, so every fan gets the coverage they deserve, not just the big clubs. And you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.